Good morning and Tashi Daily to everyone. Hope you are having an amazing day. This is Jam Young and welcome back to my channel. And until now, I've been supported by numbers of viewers and fans and I'm still pursuing to share more episodes that can entertain everyone. And this time in this video, I'm traveling from Hwasa to Chengdu to the most unforgettable place called Wuntuan, where the earthquake took place in 2008. Around 69,000 people passed away at that day, May 12, 228 p.m. And I'm also visiting the most popular Han tea house that has history of 200 years old. Hopefully I will see everything happen in the past and meet those local people's life in their leisure time. <laughs> Moreover, I'm looking forward to your travel in Tibet and never miss us our travel agency Tibet Vista and will always welcome every corner around the world and makes you the most cozy and joyful trip along the rural Tibetan life to experience while seeing any scenic spot. And I wish every viewer enjoy experience new things from my video and my TD driver is coming soon to pick me up so let's hit the road. And now I am going to airport which we have to drive about 60 km and I took a Didi which is a sort of really famous transportation nowadays in Lhasa and I have to pay about 200 yuan for that for 60 km and this is my Didi driver <laughs> See, you can see the protractor is always with him <laughs> <laughs> and now we are here at the airport, Lhasa airport and I think it is one of the highest airport in the world that is with 3650 meter and for 60 kilometer I paid 200 yuan <laughs> <laughs> Finally, every checking is finished, and now I'm inside the airport. Look at this beautiful photo. All right, I got my tickets to Chengdu, and I paid like 750 for this flight, which is quite cheap now. And this is where we check in. All right, that means finally. I can fly and this is it's going to be two hours flight which is now 11 a.m. and we're going to be there at 1 p.m. I pray I wish to have a good flight to Chengdu. And we just landed here in Chengdu. The altitude here is 600 meter, which is very, very low for me. And I'm having a little bit problem here, which might could be the low altitude problem. All right, and now let's find the metro to go to the city central. And there, one of my friends is going to pick me up. And I asked to lend me a car so that I can do a sightseeing inside Chengdu. All right, then let's go to the central city of Chengdu.
this is my beautiful friend from Chengdu, Carrie. How do you eat it? How do you eat So when you come to Chengdu, this is something that you can't miss. Hot pot. Very, very spicy and very traditional food of Chengdu. So this lunch, I'm going to eat hot pot. <laughs> that's shrimp and I don't know if you don't know or not but that's a stomach we really love to eat this and that's also a stomach that's the duck intestine <laughs> see she looks slim but she loves to eat that's her that's her <laughs> Character. Bye bye. <laughs> that was a wonderful, wonderful hot pot I just ate with Carrie. And I just got a car from her, so now I'm going to start my sightseeing inside Chengdu. Alright, and that's the car that I'm going to use for my city tour and now I'm going to visit a very unique and famous tea house of Chengdu that have a history of about 200 years And right now I'm here in Peng Town Ancient Tea House, which is located in Peng Town Shuangliu district of Chengdu, which has history dating back over 200 years. Actually, this place is like a market. It doesn't look like a tea house. Ah, it's a very traditional Chinese house. <laughs> This is This is This is Okay. Ah. Let me buy one for her as well. She also wants to try this. It's very crispy, very sweet, and delicious. <laughs> and here you can see lots and lots of basket that was made from bamboo. Wow, I really like this thermos actually. Laoban, this is how much? I was thinking if I can pause it to Tibet because I really like this thermos. Oh, it's a salon. Very old, interesting salon. Ah, here you can buy lots and lots of candy. Mm. 
就跟他说，所有检查完成以后，呃，在微信上反馈给那个董老师，他的结果要反馈给他。啊，我爹的嘴巴子。发给你哈，他一到那个地方交费。第三点就是，其实你不写也不赖嘛，我自己写，反正他一个值班都得。I think every people here are very professional. Look at that man, how he made the candy, the butterfly one. All right, then let's start my sightseeing here at this oldest tea house in Chengdu. 到我的店，小店真会有天赏，我想用。将军锅盔做招牌，就把这锅盔烤着，点点二合。我要对马云主席说啊，从山东来到我的店，本店的锅盔。This place is what I want to see, what I want to visit. Let's try my jasmine tea. Mm, that's it has a really strong taste of flour. And one cup of this tea costs 10 yuan. And later, I'm definitely going to clean my ear. Therefore, this is how much? 三十，三十。嗯。这个干了十四年。十四年。哦、oh. ，And I noticed that this place is not only a tea house, it's also a heaven for many photographer, and I really recommend you. To come to this tea house, which have 200 years old history, and it's like a perfect place to see the Chinese unique culture. Here in Peng Town Ancient Tea House, and it was originally founded during the Qing Dynasty, and it became one of the political, economic, and cultural centers in Chengdu. And people can discuss like business, politics, and culture with a cup of those. Jasmine tea and it's the unique cultural landmark of Chengdu and the tea house has survived wars, political changes and it has witnessed the, the historical changes of Chengdu and carries the developments and inheritance of local tea culture. Nowadays it continues to attract lots and lots of locals and tourists alike of traditional tea of China and especially it is a paradise for photographers. I found everything here, antique, people, the house, everything here is antique. And I also found another tea house that also looks so old. You can see those ports are all hanged here on the pillar. Lots and lots of ports. Alright, my next destination is to visit this large scale ruins of Xuanko Middle School of Wenchuan, which was terribly damaged during earthquake in May 12, 2008. And from here, we have to drive about 83 kilometers, and I'm gonna take the highway. So it is going to take us about one hour 15 minutes to reach to this Wenchuan. On the way, we have to cross this uh, dam, which is called Ziping Pu. And this dam is like one of the largest dam in Sichuan area. Chengdu people get really scared that if this dam collapse, it would kill lots and lots of people. So people get really scared of this dam actually. And now we exit the highway and for 70 kilometer, I paid approximately about 33 yuan. So 
this is the place where the earthquake happened. Now here I am at Yingshou, the name of this place, and the school. This 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 is the middle school that is called Xuanko Middle School, and I heard that around 69,000 people passed away at that day, May 12, 2:28 p.m. And I really, really pray for them. This place is relatively well preserved, large site from May 12th Wenchuan earthquake in 2008 and this place Xuanko Middle School was terribly damaged in 2008 Wenchuan earthquake and later when government reconstruct of this big disaster and in order to remember and preserve this history the ruins of Xuanko Middle School was like preserved whole as the ruins and it is a relatively well preserved large site from May 12th Wenchuan earthquake and I pray for those 69,000 people who lost their life during the earthquake. This earthquake happened at 2.28, exactly at the time when the school begins. The school begins here at 2.30 and that earthquake happens at 2.28, which means every student must be in classroom. And then that happened. So can you imagine how many of them lost their life. That's a terrible time. 2.28. This is the time that happens the earthquake. And look at those house. I just fall down. I just heard that at that time they had this 8.0 magnitude earthquake at this place. And that's the office building for the teacher. You see here this apartment building have five layer but now we only can see like four. You see one, two, three, four, which means this first level, first layer we cannot see anymore because it's just collapsed straightly down. As a respect we must have to be very very quiet when we are visiting this place people say that this building this this i don't know five layer building has saved lots and lots of children at that time you see i still can see the table and chair but i don't know if you can see it from my small camera but from here i can see those tables and chair Sixty-nine thousand people were killed and about 17,000 people were missing at that time. And I pay condolence from bottom of my heart to those who lost their life during this earthquake. Alright, that's all about today's video in Tengdu and I hope you enjoyed watching my video and if you like my video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye bye!